A landmark San Francisco restaurant that was forced to close its doors because of the government shutdown officially reopened for business today. As Cron Forge Alicia Reed reports, owners scrambled to open today after receiving word last night that the government gave them the okay. The kitchen is once again busy with bustling waiters and guests at the bistro waiting patiently for their meals. Due to the government shutdown, the Cliff House, which is a part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, was forced to shut down. With the overheads and with the upkeep of the building, that costs roughly ten to twelve thousand dollars a day. That's just to start with. The longer the shutdown drags on, or us being closed drags on. Uh, the more employees we will lose. I think I lost four or five employees so far. Owners complied and closed their doors, but due to hardships of the restaurant's 170 employees, they decided to reopen. After a few days, the Parks Department shut them down again. Then on Friday night, they heard good news. I am so happy to be back at work. I think it was the first time I actually have had a job where I woke up and I was I was sad that I couldn't that I couldn't come into work. And then when I got the call, this, I was just like, yes! I was so excited. I think it's fantastic. It was a surprise and we're here. It's great. The government altered what can and cannot open during the shutdown. Cliff House fulfilled the criteria and now the bistro and gift shop are open to guests. We don't get any funding from the federal government. We are self-sufficient. As a matter of fact, we pay them. The bistro is is fully up and running, but Sutro Restaurant needed a bit more time to prepare. They will reopen on Sunday, and of the 150 reservations they had to cancel, nearly 120 of them have already been rebooked. Reporting in San Francisco, Alicia Reed, Cron 4 News. Okay.